Yeah, I think the market was pretty spooked by what, uh, what Daily Mail and General, General Trust said today. Um, they warned on ap the outlook for next year. They, there were some impairment charges, but you know, really quite a, quite a shock. I mean, it's about £430 million pounds just wiped off the value yeah, of, the, of and, the company. And Lord Rothermere, the chairman, is £130 million pounds poorer tonight. He's going to feel it in his pocketbook, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, people get rather obsessed with the newspapers, but um, it's worth mm. pointing out DMGT, the vast majority of the business is in things other than newspaper yeah, publishing. Yeah, big business-to-business -business portfolio of, of publications and financial information services, real estate, property, all that, all that kind of thing. And, you know, the diversification was obviously put in place to, you know, absorb some of the volatility from, from the newspaper side. Um, but, you know, the, they've take, made a lot of bets and some of them clearly haven't, haven't paid off. But even, even the non-newspaper businesses seem to be feeling a bit of a chill as well. That's right. I mean, you know, they, they've, they've spread their, their, their bets. Um, some of these companies, you know, a lot of them are in the U.S. have a big exposure to financial information, to data. Some of them doing very well, others not so well, and they've had to take this this big charge. I mean, it's worth pointing out: all newspapers are grappling with the idea of the migration to digital. I mean, your paper, the Financial Times, has done it pretty well. My old newspaper, the Times, has yeah. done it pretty well. But this is not just a problem confined to the Mail, is it? No, look, I mean, I think newspapers that didn't Im implement paywalls have, have, have struggled. And you see, the Guardian has a a voluntary uh, scheme where they, they're taking money from, from readers. But paywalls have, have been a good kind of bulwark against uh, advertising declines. Mail Online is still growing. It's still the biggest, uh, most widely read newspaper web website. But across the sector, I mean, online advertising is not in, in great shape. And the trouble is, Mail Online is effectively swapping print pans for digital pennies in advertising. That's right. Mail, yeah. Advertising at the Daily Mail itself is, is falling, rising at, at Mail Online, not at a quick enough rate to to replace the, uh, the, the decline, but, but I think pretty soon the, the, the company itself will make more in advertising from uh, Mail Online than it will from the Daily Mail itself, is quite, quite something. Yeah, I mean, I guess on the plus side for this company, I mean, it's, more, it's a quasi-private company, isn't it, because Lord Rothermere controls all the voting shares. Mm. Um, I mean, he can, he can take the hit personally, can't he, really? I think he can. I don't think he'll actually like to. I mean, you kind of wonder, what, what, going forward longer term, what the strategy's going to be. I mean, they've, they've said today that next year, or well, 2018, would be another would be a year of transition. Uh, they bed down some of these other assets, and they sort of hope that growth returns in 2019. I mean, I guess the, the, a big part of that bet is on online advertising holding up in the way, the way that it hasn't really held up to date. All right, Matthew Garraham from the Financial Times. It's very good to see you. Thanks, Thanks for coming in. Cheers, thank you.